This is the Web Reports tutorial video. Why use Web Reports? Solostats is for in-game analysis. Once you've had several matches worth of stats, you really need Web Reports. Web Reports provides comprehensive reports. Review your players by skill, rotation, opponent, and tournaments. To link your Solostats 1 to 3 app to Web Reports, go to the Matches page and then click on the green Consolidated Stats button. Now on the left side you can create a new account by entering your first name, last name, email, password or if you happen to already have a Rotate123 account just enter your email for that account and the password and log in. While it's nice to use the iPad to look at web reports, it's actually more convenient to use your computer. Go to the Rotate123 site and press the login button at the top right. Log into your account. And it will take you to the game plans page. Now to get to web reports, click on this tab. And if they're connected, you'll see a number of different matches here. So I'll be clicking on this particular one, which takes me to that report page. Now, once you're in Web Reports, you can select a team that you want to look at and then go to the Matches page. Here you'll see all the matches that you've statted. In, in this case, I have an entire season's worth. And then you can decide which ones you want to review. So I will use click this button to unselect all the matches and then select ones that I want to see. For example, let's say I want to just see the matches from Yuga City. This is a tournament, so I'd like to look at this particular tournament and potentially compare it to other tournaments. Okay. Now if we go to the next page and look at, for example, Analyze, we can see the results here. The summary page is a good place to start your analysis. This is where you can look at the plus minus points that each player is contributing. So for example in the first row we can see Beth and she's earned about 2.5 points per game and she's lost about uh, 1 point per game so she's got a net of 1.5 points per game. By looking down the column here you can get a good idea of who's contributing and who's losing points. It's important to remember though that you need to compare players in like positions because for example your defensive players will have negative numbers since they can only contribute positive points if they serve aces. So be careful as you go through this but it provides a really good idea of how each player is contributing to the game. The next thing to consider is player ranking. So by going to the player ranking tab you can see each player by skill. So the first one is serving, the next is receive, attack, digs, blocks. Now the one limitation in this section is that if you're not tracking in rally stats you won't have information to rank players by receive and for example uh, digs. Now in the case of receive it's a pretty easy one to take to rank the first ball uh, during the play and then you don't have to worry about the rest of the in-rally work. Now I'll describe next the other aspects of ranking that will work for you. Now for serve, our ranking system is a little bit different than most. We use a thing called point scoring percentage by player. So as an example, Ellen, who has a 50% point scoring number, it means that every time she goes back to serve, she typically serves twice and gets one point. So that's what 50% means. So basically the higher the number, the better the server is. And as you stat more and more matches, you'll find that certain players will serve a lot more balls than others, and this is really your best server. Now for attacks, to get hitting efficiencies, you really need to track the number of attempts that are being made. However, this can be really hard to do in the match since it goes so fast. We provide a different statistic called net attack points per game. Let's compare the two stats. The first one is hitting efficiency, which is calculated as kills minus errors over attempts. The number we're using is called net attack points per
per game, which is kills minus errors per game. So you notice that the numerator is the same in both cases, which means that a poor hitter is near zero in either case, since the kills are either equal to errors or maybe even less than errors and provides like a negative number. Now what we did was we compared data over a two-day tournament and looked at hitting efficiency versus net attack points per game. And you notice on the table on the right that the rank order of the players was actually the same. So you notice that Mel hit .259 and uh, net attack points per game was 1.4 at the highest. Uh, Mel was followed by Zoe and so forth. Now these rank orders won't be precisely the same in both cases, but they're very close. And the key message is that all you're trying to do is rank your best hitter to your worst hitter and making sure that the best hitters are on the court at all times. So this is a good proxy for hitting efficiency without all the effort it takes to actually to capture the data necessary to calculate hitting efficiency. Now once you've completed the analysis of your players' rankings by position and skills, and made sure that you've got the right people in the right spot. If you go to the Analyze tab, you can actually look at how you're doing by rotation. So you see here, these are the serving rotations, and you've got some high and low numbers here as well below that. In receiving, you've got some high and low numbers. So for example, on your side out statistics here, look at this rotation number six, it's 33%. By clicking on this row, it expands out, and you can see below, it'll give you exactly what's going on in that rotation. So you can see that you're getting about two kills there, and then you're also getting a block, but on the other side you'll notice that there are a number of errors, and the key error seems to be receiving problems amongst these three players. Now one thing you can do is then review what's going on in that rotation, and maybe there's some communication issues between these three players that's leading to the low uh, receive statistic. This helps you to really locate and analyze the specific rotations that are problems and also the players that ha are having issues in those specific rotations and it makes it possible for you to practice just that segment so that you don't spend your your practice across all six rotations but instead say focus just on rotation six. That makes your practice process a lot more efficient and your learning speed a lot better since you can do an entire hour, say, on that one rotation rather than spreading it across six rotations. You can also go to the Other Reports tab and review things with different cuts. So, for example, these are by rotation, and it gives you detailed breakdowns all the way down to specific rotations and skills in those rotations. You can look by player, and again, all the details here. compare by opponent. See how you did by various opponents here. So serve, receive, setting, attacks. And then skills by players. And sometimes it's nice to see trends. So you'll have a chart display here. So you can see how you're trending on both your point scoring and your side out statistics and different skills by game. To review, Web Reports provides a way to aggregate the entire season or a selection of games or matches. You can drill down by rotation to understand why you are succeeding or having issues. You can rank your players by skill and you can understand who is earning and who is losing points for you. Solostat Web Reports